All right, you've been doing this for a while. You've been making a living doing the music thing. Why did you choose to do the voice at this point in your career? Um, the funny thing about it was I had a friend of mine who um, kind of introduced me to the idea of auditioning. I didn't actually make the decision myself. He called me up. He said, I think this is something you ought to do. You have nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. How about you? How about you go, you know, try out for the voice? Now, you know, I, I didn't really know much about it. I said, ah, you know, I, I, that's too big of a platform. I don't know, you know, I might get lost in the sauce. You know, we kind of ended the conversation there on the phone and then he called me a couple of days later. He said, you know, I'm not really feeling your answer. I really think you need to, you need to make this happen. You know, I sent in an audition um, and before you know it, they were calling me um, to come in and, 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 you know, start doing a face-to-face -face audition and, and making it happen and things like that. Do you think you have what it takes to win this thing? I do think that I have what it takes. I mean, do I think that there are other contestants that have what it takes as well? Absolutely. The talent on this show is completely phenomenal. I promise you, having made it this far, and it, it, I, I, I have what it takes to be able to um, win this entire thing. Are you grateful today to have so many different avenues you can do music with? Whereas when you look back to American Idol in the first season, if you didn't win, mm -hmm. you would get forgotten about. I mean, there's so many ways you can make a living doing music because of the show mm -hmm. and and then not have to be a headlining act in a tour. It, it doesn't matter, right? Right. In this in this environment, in this time, you know, 2017, like it is exciting almost. I mean it's very, very exciting to be able to really if if the if the avenue calls for it, to have the power in your own hands. That's what really makes a platform like this so exciting now versus like you said when American Idol first started is because you don't need to win the show. Mm -hmm. You don't have to all you have to do is create a buzz. We know this in all of these industries that, that involve marketing. You've got to create the buzz and what you do to build on that, right. you know, it's almost kinda of like you have your destiny in your own hands. Uh -huh. So it's very, very, very exciting to me to to to, to know that my come up is happening now. I love that. I absolutely love it. Now, win or lose, what do you do next? We keep it moving. Uh -huh. We absolutely keep it moving. So it, we're, you know, going to record music. You know, we're going to per perfect my image, different things like that. We're going to start touring, you know, get the band together. Um, we're going we're gonna to move on into this business. I'm so excited for, for whatever this situation, once I get out of this situation, I'm so excited for what the next step is going to be. You know, the options. I, you know, it, it, the biggest part of this is going to be able to figure out which option I need to take. All right, well, John, best of luck on the show and in your future endeavors in your career. Dave, thank you so much. It's been awesome.